What has been AMD's goal since the launch of Zen? I should say Zen 3. I had a supporter, a new supporter today. Actually, I had a bunch of new supporters today, which is super weird for no reason. I feel like that last video I released just like got a whole bunch of new supporters, which is cool. Oh, that makes sense. Cause I'm like, FPS is the most important thing ever. And then it's like, if you're going to lose, unless you have high FPS the next day, I get like four more supporters. I'm like, oh shit. You know what I mean? It's like, it's all unintentional. I swear to God, dude, it's so unintentional how that works. But so he linked me. Okay. What do he say? He, even though I don't read emails from people, uh, first of all, I was annoyed that he even emailed me, but uh, I took a gander with this one, right? So he, uh, he's a legendary supporter. He sent me an email. He was like, I feel like you can, or you guys can help me out, right? Let me see if I can find the email actually. So this guy was talking about his build, asking for Warzone FPS tips, all this shit. Talking about B die. He's obviously been watching his optimizers, right? All this shit. Uh, well, there's problem number one, right? Render count 10. Um, okay, look at this. Okay, so do you guys remember how everyone was talking about like the 6900 XT is the greatest thing ever for Warzone and all that? And then I just never involved. I'm like, I don't fucking care. Don't talk to me about that shit. You know what it was this whole time? I was giving, I, I always give people way too much credit for how dumb they are. People are dumber than I thought they were, right? Okay, so, so I run Warzone at 260 plus FPS. No, you don't. Uh, the biggest increase I got was from switching from a 30 to 60 to a 600. I went from 180 to a stable 260. Okay. What red flag? Does that one sentence talk about? What's the red flag? Okay, let's we're gonna go over all these red flags. This guy right here, first red flag. Looks at averages. Uh, oh my god, dude. Red flag. Suggesting specific driver it's like dude you don't have to read you don't have to read this thread anymore dude just like that's all you had to fucking read to like click off of this shit okay that's all you had to do my god completely wipe your current driver video tutorial on youtube oh my god that's actually a good suggestion uh you're gonna have to invest money no I'm familiar with running old drivers. Why? The game runs. Oh, wow. Game runs better on AMD. That's AMD optimization right there. Three red flags. The game looks like shit. Dude, th these AMD people are fucking insane, dude. They're insane. This is ridiculous. Holy shit. Dude, this is a prime example of you just cannot get correct information on the internet. You just cannot do it. Don't do it. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. Talking about CPU overclocking. I look up and follow the Panjo Warzone guide on YouTube and you'll be good. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Panjo guide. <sighs> you're fucked. If you, if you listen to any of this advice, you're fucked. Fucked. Uh... Look at all these people chiming in too. Everyone's a fucking Warzone pro nowadays. Okay, that was the whole thread. Okay, so we got four red flags out of it. Now, 
Now, okay. Having seen all the red flags of the thread and the 6900 XT shilling, now I understand why. Okay. What has been AMD's goal since the launch of Zen? I should say Zen 3. Can anyone tell me? Not market share. No, no, no. I mean, like, like, okay, well, well, market share. But, like, how are they going to get market share? How do they get market share and how do they get mind share? Right? Hang on. Stock performance. Yes. Just uh, got it. Well, let me elaborate. Stock perf out of the box performance. That's why. Yes. And you know why? Zen 3. Cash beast. Navi 2. Cash beast. Now, when you actually go back into the thread and you look at why all of these people are recommending the 6900 XT because they don't know how to tune the Nvidia driver. If you know what's so funny, this is such um a table flip. Right? So like the reason okay, isn't that fucking crazy? Okay. The reason why I don't use AMD stuff is because of the sheer amount of effort you have to put in to make it perform as well as the Nvidia stuff. But these people don't actually know how game engines work and how to tune game engines specifically. So in their perspective, when they throw in an, uh, an AMD product, it just works. Because they like, like, okay, okay, here's how, here's how it is. Here's it. And oh, it makes so much sense why the optimizers are pushing that. Because if an optimizer, optimizer, if they push AMD products, it's way less work for them. Because it's just the cash takes care of it. It makes perfect sense, right? Okay. Here's, here is the bar, the graph here, okay? Here is, uh, uh, FPS. This is this one. F P S. Effort. How much effort you put in to tuning it versus the FPS that you get. We'll use red for AMD, right? Effort. Zero effort down here. Max FPS. And then it goes like this. Because you can, and then like you can say like this part here is like. 3600 megahertz memory this is like 3800 and this is like 4000 how much effort do you have to put in right how much effort do you have to, oh no actually it would be down here right how much effort do you have to put in to make 4000 work and the fps would be like one fps higher right here's intel and nvidia effort fps it's the exact opposite you get way more FPS with way more effort, right? So, so AMD is readily available. That's true. But I would argue that I haven't had any problem buying NVIDIA graphics cards, man. You can literally text me tomorrow. It's like, hey, can you get me this? I'm like, yeah, probably. You know what I mean? I don't know what, I don't think people are putting, we can talk about that too, GPU availability. But anyway, this is exactly why everyone is shilling AMD products for Warzone right now. They don't know what they're doing, right? So they actually can't go past this bar of effort. They can't go past it because they don't know how to go past that effort level, right? So if you don't know how to go past this bar of effort, AMD just looks way better, dude. Because you throw that shit in there and don't do anything. And it performs well. That was literally what AMD was aiming for the entire time. That's how they got to the top of all the benchmark charts. Because 
benchmark tech tubers don't overclock they don't tune they don't work with game engines they like like the tech tuber space their their effort level for tuning is down here this is what the tech tuber is their effort is way the fuck down here so amd it was like that with comet lake we're like why the fuck is everyone shilling amd because comet lake took a lot of effort to make good right right doesn't that all make so much sense now boys you're like that's why everyone's shilling this fucking amd shit they don't know i dude i literally thought i gave the optimizers too much credit i'm like i'm like so here's what i thought initially it was right you know how the cash structure works right the amd highs are always way up here right like 600 fps ocean view shit with an amd card i'm like i think they must be shilling amd stuff because mainstream idiots that don't know what they're doing just see this for half a second on the ocean and say they have 600 fps that's what i thought it was but i think that's giving them too much credit they're just lazy here's here's your here's your consult with a with a joe schmo optimizer just buy AM, amd stuff it'll do it all for you oh oh i get it now god damn that just i had that revelation today with the with the effort versus fps graph do you know what i mean it makes so much sense all right here let me uh where's my mouse? well no did you see did you notice how intel caught on to right so now now we have we have the um we have the battle of out of the box now that's what's happening now amd and intel are gearing their architectures for pure out of the box performance right mega cache sizes right mega cache they're both doing this now right Intel went one step further with little cores for Cinebench. Just load those bitches up so AMD can't compete in Cinebench, right? Um, Intel made the ring clock way higher out of the box. In Comet Lake, I think, what was Comet Lake? 40 ring out of the box? Or was it like 38 or something like that? 47 out of the box on fucking Alder Lake on the ring clock. They're they're catching on, man. They're they're taking the overclocking and the tweaking out of because they're like they're like, we can't trust these motherfucking tech tubers to do their job. We have to overclock these fucking things out of the box and put mad cash on it so that when they throw it in and press the button, you know, like the the minimal effort, they were they were they were down here, minimal fucking effort. It needs to this is ex okay. Here's a sec. Here's here's what these companies are doing. Okay. Here's the graph. They need their products to be minimal effort, maximum FPS. This is what every product bar needs to look like. Just no effort, maximum FPS. Nvidia hasn't gotten there yet because they don't have any cash, right? That's what it is. They need they require tuning, right? Exactly just a 12th gen took it back, right? for that exact reason but th that's why you see so many people shilling 6900 xts now it 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 reduces the workload of how much effort they have to put in right you turn on smart access memory you throw on a 3600 xmp kit you throw on a 6900 xt you're blasting 200 plus fps and you literally optimize that pc in 60 seconds you're done that's it it's just like uh, that's a good that's, i should fucking do that shit too man it's like oh it's a good business model it's like oh you need some warzone fps do you well here let me build you an amd system and i'll be done in fucking 60 seconds and then the customer isn't the wiser they don't know dude like 
you, you when you hire somebody to do something like that for you you're putting your trust in them right so also people just don't look at average or lows i should say at all right so you see 500 fps ocean view the customer is happier than a pig and shit you remember the joe woe video the guy had lows of like 130 he only focused on the number when it said 240 so look they're not they're not hardware nazis is what i'm saying they're not they're not hardware nerds right they're just like gamers right so a gamer has the placebo effect of a high fps which is what amd provides and then they're just like they're happy and it's it's not it's not up to us or you or anybody to tell them they shouldn't be happy like oh, cool that's why i don't bother whenever somebody comes in here and they're like 6900 xt thoughts i'm like if you're happy you're happy if you're happy i'm happy M my it comes down to acceptable performance criteria now average pleb okay with 200 130 lows me cannot go below like 220 and ever 220 minimum now my now you give me you give me the bottom computer you give the average peasant to the top computer we're both have the same equal level of happiness i'm not gonna go and tell the guy he's like no you shouldn't be happy with that it's like hey cool you're fucking happy cool i'll see you on the battlefield that's the whole point it's like hey if you're happy i'll see you out i'll see you out there let's fucking cue it up like what the hell dude i don't care you know what i mean who cares that's what i'm saying i get it now i understand the fucking amd shilling it's time efficient you can spam out warzone rigs imagine if you were like br paradox but he does still lots of nvidia stuff or if you were like um power gpu or one of these other companies that does warzone rigs you just spam out amd shit dude don't have to overclock it don't have to optimize it don't have to do shit amd rig 200 customer happy right it's it's, it's genius dude it's genius. dude that's the so here i am like wasting my fucking time like trying to genuinely help people with like their lows i get dude you know what you know what the other thing is i guarantee 90 percent of my consults don't even look at lows i'm i'm the one that's like obsessed with it not them the customer isn't fucking care the customer sees 200 for half a second isn't happy you know what i mean i'm like oh fuck i'm doing it wrong i need to start shilling that amd shit you know what i mean shill all the amd shit just make my life so much easier